Friends, today I have come to reach out to those aspirants who are either feeling lost or are feeling low after the current prelims. I have talked to a lot of aspirants and most of them have said that the paper was really tough. There were not many factual questions on current affairs and uh, only those students who had a deeper understanding, a thorough reading of the issues could manage it this time. But for most other aspirants who had worked really, really hard in the previous weeks, in the previous months, the paper was a big disappointment. This video is a sincere attempt to reach out to such aspirants. People tend to think that prelims, the first step of the examination, is the easiest. But believe me friends, for me and most of my officer friends here, prelims was the toughest part. There are many officers here who could not clear their prelims in their initial attempts and once they did clear the prelims, they went on to become one of the finest officers. Immediately after the prelims, there is a tendency of checking the paper. We start correcting, analyzing, comparing. If the paper goes well, we congratulate each other. If it doesn't go well, we start cursing ourselves. There are answer keys, there are discussions regarding the cutoffs, there are cutoff predictions. It does affect you. There might be people who are on the edge. They'll feel restless for over a month till the result is out. There'll be people who will be below cutoff. They'll feel depressed. Your mind will play such games with you. It will keep reminding you of all the questions that have gone wrong. You'll think that you shouldn't have attempted these questions. There would have been less negative marking. But friends, this was a risk that you had to run. You had to take such risks in order to qualify this exam. Sometimes it goes in your favor, sometimes it doesn't. You are reminded of all the silly mistakes that you have done. And this might seem like a broken dream now. That you have lost everything. But friends, stop being too harsh. Let me tell you that you didn't give up. The exam might be the same, but each one of us fights a different battle at a personal level. You always had the option of leaving this battle altogether. Many aspirants couldn't bear the stress. They left the preparation weeks before the exam. They left the competition before it even began. But you didn't do that. You had made a promise to yourselves that you'll fight till the end. Just because luck didn't favor you this one day, don't start blaming yourselves, friends. You didn't give up back then and you are not going to give up now. Take his example, MS Dhoni, one of the most successful captains of the Indian cricket team. One of our favorites. But imagine the kind of stress, the kind of failures that he must have gone through until he reached this moment. The moment that is etched in our memories. The moment that is one of the favorites of millions of cricket fans across India. What matters is our fighting spirit. We can't expect to win every time. We cannot be successful all the time in our lives. We have to accept failures, learn from them and come back stronger. This is the time friends that you have to prove yourselves more than anyone else, that you are capable of becoming an officer, that you have that metal in you, that you have the capacity of accepting failures and coming back stronger and sharper. Now friends, allow me to give you a few tips. Those aspirants who are likely to qualify this prelims, let me tell you that our aim is still far. We cannot be complacent and we have to keep fighting. You may take a break of a few days, but if you feel that this might break your momentum, Continue with your studies and then as and when you require, you may take breaks of shorter durations later on. I have done separate videos on mains preparation, on ways to score more marks by use of unconventional methods in your preparation. Please go through these videos whenever you have time. Now coming back to those brothers and sisters who are feeling depressed, who are feeling low after this prelims. Friends, I'm not a motivational speaker. I just want to try to get you out of this phase. I know you can perform really well if you start believing in yourselves. Let me answer a few questions that might arise in this phase. Is it worth it? Is doing UPSC, is investing so many years worth it? Friends, it's absolutely worth it. Trust me. Once you cross this examination, once you become an officer, you can have so many opportunities and you will be the one who will be motivating other aspirants like, like I am doing right now. The next question that might arise is, should I take one more attempt? I have already invested so many years. Will I fail again? Friends, attempts do not matter. It does not matter how many years you have invested. Once you reach your goal, you will have this unique opportunity and then this one result will change your life forever. So believe me, 
if you have that motivation if you have that strength in you if you are willing to achieve it come what may yes please invest one more year but do it logically i don't want you to get stuck in this upsc trap wherein you are continuously giving one attempt after the other friends i think you should have a plan b wherein if this doesn't work out you could always go to and pursue that particular career next is plan well for the next attempt analyze what mistakes you have committed in this attempt and then plan accordingly see what is the exact date of the next prelims and then plan in a reverse order i have made a detailed video on prelims preparation you could check it out on my youtube channel and see if it helps you you can also take help of other aspirants you can take help of your seniors friends mentors and other officers friends you have to fight back see i know the prelims was tough i know you must be feeling terrible you must be feeling lost not understanding what to do next but remember you you cannot change what has happened whatever mistakes you have done but you can definitely change how this ends you have put in a lot of time and energy in this don't give up at this moment it's okay if some of you are planning to give the whole thing the whole upsc stuff all together if you are planning to take some other career options it's okay choose your career options excel in that and then get back in touch with us with the officers and together we can do something good something great for our country our people but for those who are planning to take this exam again remember these are the times in which you have to show strength you have to gather your strength so come on this video in itself was is being made in order to tell you that yes there are so many people so many aspirants so many successful candidates who had repeatedly failed previously but then one single attempt one single day can change your life one good result can change your life altogether and that is what we are here to achieve okay it's all worth it friends trust so friends gather your energy and please get back to your studies if you give up now you don't deserve to be an officer as i said you can't change the way it started but you can change how it ends your sweat time and devotion will pay off and you will definitely reach your moment of glory one day all the best jai hind